home of the World Series champion, Philly. Can you believe it? 1210, WPHT, WPHTAC, Philadelphia. Hello, everyone. My name is Scott Fransky. And as you know by now, the Phillies have lost their voice. The legendary Hall of Fame voice of the Philadelphia Phillies, Harry Callis, passed away today here in Washington, D.C. He was for 38 seasons the voice of summer in the Delaware Valley. He was the sound of baseball for you. For many of you, he provided the soundtrack of the shore or your porch in South Philly. He loved this game like nothing else. And he loved being your conduit to the boys in red pinstripes or whatever uniform combination the Phillies were wearing. For us in this broadcast crew, he was our leader, our flagship, and our friend. I know how much you will miss hearing his singular voice, his impeccable calls, and we know that nothing and no one will ever, ever replace Harry the K. This will be the most impossible of days to broadcast a baseball game, but just as Harry had to do when he lost his good friend Whitey 12 seasons ago, we have a first pitch at 3.05. Harry and Whitey together once again will be listening and hopefully enjoying along with the rest of us. Larry Anderson, my colleague, has joined me in the booth and it has been um, just an awful last few hours here in Washington, D.C. It, it has. There's, uh, I don't know, speechless. There's no words to... There's nothing, to, I can't even tell you, there, there's no words to say that, that uh, can describe the, the loss of, you know, myself, the ball club, the fans, the, losing that voice. Um, it's, again, I, there, there's just not words. It's just a sad day, and it's going to be, it's going to be a sad long time to, Come to the ballpark and not not see Harry, not hear his little jabs, you know, that he would do behind the scenes. The the high hopes, uh, everything about him. Uh, it, it's just uh, it's not the same already. Our hearts right now, along with the rest of the Phillies family, uh, with Harry's family, Dwight Filene is. Sons, Todd, Brad, Kane, stepdaughter Julie, and with all of you. Uh, and again, we will do our best to bring you the ball game today from here in Washington, D.C. And as we lead up to the start of today's ball game, we will obviously not have what was originally planned for our pregame ceremony and our typical pregame programming. Uh, we will send it back in a moment after the break to our studios, and we will let you listen back uh, to many of the great calls and a call that uh, will, I think, forever be remembered as um, Harry's crowning moment, and that was we will play for you the ninth inning of last year's Game 5 as the Phillies won the 2008 World Series. I mean, how fitting is it for Harry to be able to make that call? Mm -hmm. um, to be able to do that and the, the thrill in his voice, which, which you always heard when, you know, big calls, but that was the, the culmination, I think, of his career, being able to make that final out to strike out by Brad Lidge and it just uh, I think that meant everything to him and I know my phone's going off the hook former players uh, guys from the 93 team um, a lot of writers ask you know what what was it why why did the players like Harry so much it's because he loved the players you know he 
he loved the players, and he always found a silver lining in, in each player. He never had a bad word to say about a player. And uh, they loved him, and he loved them. And that's simply what it was. The players have been notified. Uh, they were kept up to date uh, this morning and uh, in the early part of the afternoon. So they will play, certainly, with heavy hearts this afternoon. But again, uh, this game will... Right now, as pregame introductions are taking place, the Phillies here on opening day in Washington are taking their place along the third base line. We are glad that you're with us today. We are uh, very sorry that it is the day that it is. Uh, we have uh, lost our good friend. and We will send it back now to our studios and let you listen back to uh, what will forever be remembered as uh, one of the greatest moments in Phillies history. And... Uh, what I'm sure Harry would tell you is one of his uh, fondest moments from 43 years in a baseball broadcast booth. Back in a moment on the Phillies Radio Network. 3-2, here's the pitch. Strike three, a 102-mile-an-hour 